If you have a Mac, you have iMovie, and iMovie 11 can turn your video into amazing productions. Let's say that you're sitting at the Little League field and your son or daughter gets up to, play, gets up to bat. Like a diligent parent, you've got your video camera trained right on them. They smack a home run, and all you get is the hit of the ball on the bat, and then you stand up and start cheering wildly. You forget to video them crossing the home, rounding the bases and crossing home plate. Fortunately, another parent says, hey, I got your child running the bases too. Now you can take the footage from both camera angles and edit them together. But the secret is using iMovie's advanced tools. It's not turned on by default. Let me show you how to do it. To alternate between two camera angles on the same scene is called a cutaway. I've got two camera angles of me sitting here talking, and I've brought the first camera angle clip into iMovie already. Now I'm going to import the video file from the second camera angle. There it is. And that's going to land in our event library. Next, we'll start dropping video into the project. So click and drag, get all the video we want to use. and drag that up into the project. Then, you notice that I turned my head there for a second and looked at the other camera right about here. So I want to use that segment here, about those 12 seconds or so. Now, without the advanced tools feature turned on, that's the key to this whole business, watch what happens when we drag this portion up onto the other. It just asks if you want to replace it, insert it, use the audio only. None of the choices offered are the cutaway option. So here's what we do. You go to the preferences command and you simply in the general preference category turn on show advanced tools. You even saw a couple of additional tools added to the toolbar here. And then when we come back down into our event library and bring some footage up in. We'll get an extra menu here. Try to get the spot right just when I look away to the other camera. There we go. We get an extra menu that includes cutaway, picture in picture, side by side, some really great options. And when you choose cutaway, the extra clip lays in over top of the first one. Now, you're going to have to spend some time getting the audio to line up so that it doesn't look like you're, you're uh, lip syncing badly. And I'm going to zoom in for that, like this. And we're going to make sure that the show audio waveforms is turned on. And we can hopefully look at the waveforms in addition to listening to them and try to see when they line up. Let's. Uh, Let's play. Okay, so I can tell just by listening that this one's a little bit ahead, I think, or behind. Sometimes it takes a little getting used to or experimenting to, uh, to get it right. Oh, I went the wrong way. We'll go this direction instead because I'm thinking that thinking that this audio right here matches this audio right here. Look at that. Not bad. And then, of course, you simply mute the volume by dragging this volume bar down of the, uh, the camera that had the poorer quality audio. You could do that on either one, but in this case, the, this distant camera had, had uh, much quieter, poorer quality audio. And we've got our cutaway. I'll hit space bar here to play it and see what we get. So see how seamless that is? It is uh, it's amazing. If you get the audio lined up, it looks like a professional two-camera shoot. 
You can also even have the cutaway do a fade in just by double clicking on that cutaway clip like this. You can make it so that the cutaway fades in, half second fade in and out, sounds fine to me. And you get a nice smooth little fade in and fade out effect like this. Notice that nice crossfade effect, and that's how you do it. That's how you do it. The uh, the secret, of course, being turn on that advanced tools preference right there. Now that's just one of the things that you would learn in Accelerate Computer Trainings. Getting creative with your Mac class. We offer a host of other classes from Adobe Authorized Training in Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Acrobat, Dreamweaver, Flash to FileMaker Authorized Training and Microsoft Office. We look forward to seeing you in our future class. Check us out on the web at AccelerateComputer.com or look for our Facebook page.